So astral travel and astral projection. First things first, no matter what anybody tells you on the internet, tell them to fuck off. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Moon Days with Michael. I'm your host, the World Training Michael, and I am cutting out the esoteric middleman and giving tools you need to connect yourself right to the source. Astral travel, astral projection, what is it? Should you be doing it? How do you do it? Let's talk about it. Astral travel and astral projection is something we all do all the time, every single day, from the moment we're freaking born here to the moment we freaking die here. Let that sink in. So first things first, what is the common definition of what astral travel and astral projection is? When most people think of astral travel and astral projection, they're thinking of a meditative state where you go have an out of body experience to the point where you can go and travel and you can go to your neighbor's house, you can go across the world, you can go into space, you can go to the Akashic record, you can go and look at all these different things. Is that astral projection and astral travel? Yes, but that's not the only thing that astral travel and astral projections are. First things first, the moment we're born, the moment we die, what am I talking about? Well, you yourself right now are a small part of your spirit having a temporary human experience. Basically what this means is that your spirit has taken a part of itself and has projected it into this human body. With it having projected itself into this human body, you have now traveled into the space, into the surroundings that we have here on earth. You yourself are an astral travel and projection of your higher self your spirit, whatever that may be. With that being the case and understanding that our lives are astral projections, astral travels, how much deeper does this go? Well, I'm so glad that I asked myself that hypothetical question. So let's start off with the astral projection side first, because that's what comes before the astral travel. Astral projection happens when you are projecting any thought, any feeling or emotion or any circumstance or situation out into the external world. So any thought that you have, any feeling, any situation or circumstance that you are expressing technically is an astral projection. Why? Because you are taking something from yourself and projecting it into this reality. Because everything starts in the yin realm, aka the spirit realm. Everything starts from within. And once we project it, that is an astral projection. So any thought you have, any feeling you have, any like made up situation or circumstance that you consciously think about is an astral projection. So if you ever end up in a situation where you're maybe around a bunch of new people or whatever, and you start expressing yourself and projecting your own thoughts and feelings, and you can see the situation start to change, that is because you're actually doing an astral projection and people are picking up on that and the whole vibration of the situation has started to change. If that is the astral projection where you're projecting a part of yourself, what is an astral travel? And this is very similar to it daydreaming or what most people usually think of when they think about astral projecting or astral traveling when you have an out-of-body experience and you go and view something outside of yourself this is what most people think astral traveling is however it can be much more simple than that so for example you ever be like in the shower or falling asleep and you're daydreaming having like make-believe situations and putting yourself in that and starting to think and feel like you were actually living inside of that situation you know the constant memes of like the shampoo bottles watching you like having like make-believe arguments or whatever that's kind of an astral travel right Why? Why? Because you are putting yourself into a, whether you want to call it a make-believe situation or some situation you conjured up for yourself, an astral projection, you have now traveled into that projection. You are now living that experience. You're now living that idea, concept, and emotions. You start feeling it, start thinking it, and that is what an astral travel is. Seems really simple. So with that being out of the way, how do you do it and should you be doing it? Well, how to do it, I kind of already just told you. This may be easier or harder for some people depending on certain alignments. Some people who have a lot of earth and air on their chart who are very logical, very grounded, may have a harder time of actually doing an astral projection or astral travel. However, usually they can download concepts and ideas in their waking moments. It's not really necessary for them to go and actually do an astral projection, astral travel. However, I understand the idea of wanting to have like a cool meditative out-of-body experience, right? However, don't get it confused. It's not just like the meditative experience. Everything you do is an astral projection and travel. The big old question, should you be doing it or should you not be doing it? Yes. And no. Astral projection and astral travel can be a very useful tool for a couple of things. One, your own spiritual expansions, meditating and actually downloading information. This is usually how people gain access to the Akashic Records or having some sort of meditative experience where they're actually gaining some sort of information or knowledge and wisdom from that experience. However, there is a problem here and that is the overuse of astral projection and astral travel. I'm looking at you Pisces and myself because we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. Astral projection, astral travel is something that can be very useful for you when you're trying to meditate, download information. However, a problem comes when we start trying to do this way too consciously. You start daydreaming too much, you do this as you're falling asleep, you start overthinking, reacting, and starting to feel 
certain situations that you have projected for yourself, eventually this will start reflecting on your state of being. The more you see someone who gets caught up in all these ideas and concepts that they have projected for themselves or projected onto them, and they start getting lost in that, when you start entering into situations with them, things might get a little shaky. But that's the problem. By astral projecting or astral traveling too much, this starts affecting your state of being and making it a little bit more difficult to actually navigate in the conscious realm and go through the certain experiences and energies that we're actually going through right now here on Earth. So, should you be doing it? Yes. Should you be doing it? No. Balance and everything. Don't overdo it. If you want to meditate every single day, try to download some new kind of information, then that's awesome. However, what you don't want to do is start consciously living certain scenarios and things that you're making up in your head. Start feeling the situations as they're actually real because they were going to start reflecting on your state of being. And what happens when you do that too much? Well, you become upset and depressed. Why? Those situations and experiences, if they don't start happening, then how is that going to make you feel? Not so good. This is a part of you. So the more that you start living into these circumstances that you're projecting and the more they don't start playing playing out in reality, the more that you can see that your state of being is in a place that it doesn't really want to be in. Astral projection, astral travel, you know what it is, you know how to do it, and you know whether or not you should do it. You're welcome. But with that being said, it's really important to actually understand how you download information, understand whether or not this is something you really need to do. You might not even need to astral project or astral travel to get what you desire because you might actually start just doing that stuff consciously, well, subconsciously, but in your conscious moments, or that might not be you. You might be someone who actually thinks better and actually mind is more connected to the subconscious side of things and actually may benefit from actually knowing and actually doing astral projection, astral travel, just not overdoing it and getting lost into the situations and experiences. Speaking of myself here, because I have mercury in my 12th house, so I'm not going to lie, sometimes I get lost in the sauce. It's just the way my mind works. But if you want to know how you download information, you can check out that video right there. But until next time, fly high, y'all.